Greek from Thessaloniki, and my mom's American from Beaumont, Texas, and you know half of my family is here, half of my family is in in the states, spread out in Texas and in California, and uh, I grew up here in Thessaloniki, but I grew up in an American family, and I spent a lot of time in the states with my family there as well, going back and forth uh, throughout my childhood. When I was trying to find a final name for this band, I sat down and I thought, what does music mean to us and what does the band mean to us? I wanted something that would signify and symbolize that. So it's always been like an excuse for, for what I am and what I do and uh, what I don't do. You know, uh, what's asked of us from, um, you know, parents, friends, society, uh, the education systems we've been through, um, the lifestyle we've chosen is influenced and um, directed by the, what we do, which is play music every day. And that has kept us from going in other directions that were expected of us, but also kept us sane, kept us doing what we do. And that's what the band is. It's an excuse for what, for what we are. At some point, you... you you sit back and look at look at your life and look at your achievements and look at what you've what you've done and what you hoped uh, what your goals were when you when you set out to become the person you are and you and you sit back and you look at yourself and 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 you wonder if you know if this is it and this is what all that life has to offer um, is this all I'm going to do uh, should I be proud. Is anything better going to happen? Uh, is it over? I don't know. It's kind of weird talking about it. I don't really like to give, like, I've already said too much. I, I, I like people to, to give their, their, own, their own meaning, their own definition to it. Is it over now? To get to work with some really, really important uh, people from the music business, our good friend and uh, tour manager George Colonelis. He went to London on his own without telling any of us because we were unhappy with the way the recording was going and the way the producing was going, and we couldn't get the sound that we wanted on the track. So he went to to London and sat outside of uh, Safta Jaffrey, who is. Uh, the owner of Taste Media, the manager who found and broke Muse uh, worldwide. And he sat outside his office for like three hours without an appointment waiting to see him. And, uh, you know, uh, I guess he impressed him because he actually got Safta and Ron St. Germain, a producer from New York, who everybody knows, to come visit us here in Thessaloniki, which has never, ever, ever happened. Uh, 
and they stayed with us and we jammed and we worked in the studio together and uh, Ron ended up producing the track. It took me several years to, to find the right friends and the right musicians, the right lineup uh, to, to, to make this project come to life. I don't know what, what makes a good band, but I know this band, uh, for me, first of all, is that I respect every single member as a musician, and then, uh, but what, what takes us to the next level is the fact that we've spent so much time together and uh, we've become, you know, really, really good friends. And uh, I, I think that's what, what, what uh, uh, brings out the best of us when we play uh, and when we record and when we write songs and on stage, especially on stage. The way you move is like a, I guess, a sexy rock and roll, groovy little number. is our hometown so obviously we feel more at home here and uh, this is where we started from and this is the crowd that made everything that's happened so far happen for us in Greece um, so I mean obviously it's a little bit warmer here we know everybody who's in the crowd it's a small town but on the other hand even though they're enthusiastic and they pack the house this is our fourth year that we're playing uh, in Thessaloniki at this specific venue it's like they're used to us so, you know, you have days where it's a little bit harder to get them going and there's other days where they're like, you know, they love us and we love them and it's crazy like it always has been. So, in Athens, the crowd is a little bit more enthusiastic, but I think that has to do more with the fact that they haven't seen us so much and they haven't gotten used to us so much. Um, but both Athens and Thessaloniki are great.
sit down and I'll write lyrics the day before I have to record or even the day of. Somehow, in the end, it turns out like when I listen to it after a few days or a few weeks or whatever, it, it always turns out that I, I, I'm lucky that I say exactly what I wanted to say and what, what was on my mind. I don't know how it happens. My favorite band right now are the Kings of Leon. When I first heard them, I realized that this band was going to change my life and it was... Um, uh, a band that really spoke to me because it was, uh, you know, the type of rock and roll I like to listen to. It was, you know, an evolution to me of the the, the 90s rock, vintage rock I used to listen to um, with the added plus that it has that uh, southern feel that really makes me homesick and reminds me of my, my family in Texas. <laughs> Το είχαμε φτιάξει το κουρδιστήριο σου εσύ. Ναι, ρε. Every night is uh, different. Uh, the crowd, I think, it's never the same. It's all about give and take. Uh, you give your best, uh, and uh, they give their best uh, back to you. All of this pragma, all my joy, all my love for music, is a story of Stefan, a story of Vasily. Ένα θυμό του Μάρκου, μια κοινωνική άποψη του Τάσου. Γιατί όλο αυτό το πράγμα βγαίνει με νότε, με στίχου, με χρώματα, με εικόνε. Ζούμε σε αυτό μέσα. Αυτό τον καιρό γράφουμε δίσκο, οπότε έχουμε λίγε μέρε που καθόμαστε και τι υπόλοιπε είμαστε χωμένοι μέσα σε ένα υπόγειο και παίζουμε, γράφουμε. Δοκιμάζουμε, κάνουμε πράγματα που κάνουν όλοι οι μουσικοί όταν είναι να βγάλουν ένα δίσκο.
been blessed to, to be able to do this uh, for a living. Uh, it's only been a couple of years. We've all struggled with music like since we were teenagers. And uh, it's great that, that we have this feedback from the crowd and that finally people are starting to enjoy us and our music. We've always done this because we've needed to express ourselves. We need, we've needed to play. Um, and, and that's fulfilling in, in, in every way. Now the fact that the last couple of years we have such a um, warm acceptance from, from the crowd here in Thessaloniki and in Athens is basically, uh, I guess, cathartic because, you know, it's, that's what fulfills a musician or, or any artist uh, when you can look um, to the people who your art is um, targeted towards and see that, you know, at a specific moment they feel exactly what you're feeling. You like it, don't you? Yeah. You dirty dog. <laughs> <laughs>